Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Uh, we're proceeding on with the Cardinal. I did give the Cardinal a second coat on the beak, so we're in pretty good shape there now. I think we're starting to pull that together. The, it needs a couple little washes, but uh, we're going to do that in the next uh, segment of this video here, which I'll show you. So uh, bear with me and we'll get you going here. So uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of it. And uh, hang in there. I'm going to move the camera down and I'll be right with you. Okay, we're back again. Uh, just to let you know, I used uh, about a uh, half a pea of the paint when I squish it out. This is uh, raw lumber. Again, it's Liquitex, but it could be any any uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I put in uh, about a half a pea and a, about a half, about three quarters of a cup in here of uh, the raw umber. And what I'm going to do is really mix it up real good. So it's real watery. This is what we call a wash. I want it all the paint dissolved. If it isn't, I'd take the excess out, uh, put it off to the side, and then just keep on mixing because we want this as just the wash. This is not going to be something heavy it's going on light so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shadow some areas on here on the bird uh just to enhance the look of it so i'm going to come in i'm going to charge my brush dab it out once so it's not runny i'm going to come in here i'm going to lay this right up just above the mantle on the wing here. I'll do it again. It doesn't look like much, and that's the way it should be. And I'm gonna come down, and I'm painting this whole area of the bottom wing. Then I'm gonna come up to where the feathers come back up to the mantle here. These are the secondaries. And I'm, I don't want to do everything up in here. I'm, so I'm coming down this way, making sure I get the bottom ones. And you can see it, it, it starts getting uh, a little darker you. Okay? So I'm going to leave that alone. And then I'm going to come down to the tail. And what I'm going to do, oop, let me get over here so you can see it. I tend to drift. I'm not thinking I have to be in the camera range. So I'm painting the tail. And I think you could see this readily that it's it, it's shadowing it. And that's the way the cardinals uh, feathers do lay. They're a little darker in here. And then they're also darker on, on this side here. So I just start just into the mantle a little bit. I don't want it real runny. I want to be able to control it. Uh, I'm going to put a little more in here. I'm going to come down on this, the primaries, which is the bottom section of the wing here. And then I'm going to come up, and I'm going to come down on this section. I hope I didn't go out of camera again. I did it again. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this again so you can see it. A little, getting a little heavy on the paint here. So I'm going to come through here. I came through here, and I sort of left that area alone a little bit. Now, we've done... Uh, the tail, and we got that, and I'm gonna get the edges too. Don't forget the edges on this side and this side. And it doesn't look like much, but that's fine. 
Then what I'm going to do is get a hair dryer. And if you'll bear with me a second, I'm going to make a little noise. And I'm going to uh, try to wangle over the hair dryer so I don't have it all over the place. Let's see where I'm at. I got too many things on my table at the moment. There we go. I'm going to put this one and just dry it for a minute. Couldn't take that long because it's a real light wash. And I just noticed something. <laughs> I have a, an issue where I picked up some black paint right on the edges here. And you could see it. So if that ever happens to you, what we're going to do is I did keep some of the paint. And that's something you may want to do yourself. From the paints I used, this is yesterday, I save it. And I keep it and I put like a drop of water or two, like in here. I'll just put a drop of water there, there, whatever. And then to preserve it, I get a, a just uh, some, uh, what's the name? A saran wrap. And I just place it over the tray. And I cover it so that air doesn't get to it. And then you could utilize this the next day. So you don't always throw your paints away right away. You can preserve them a little bit. They will dry out, like some of it here it did dry out. So you can't salvage everything. But I'm just noticing I got some black on the tail end of here. So I'm going to rinse this brush out to make sure I got all the brown out. Then I'm going to pick up some of the red and just go over that. So that I could get that black out of there. See, it's right on the edge. And I need, I'm probably going to need two coats of that. Let's see if I can get some heavy mix here. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit of the orange. The orange may be a little heavier. And I'll get that on there. I think what I have is too much water now. Let me do this. I don't know how. Here we go. So this is called a fix-up. <laughs> so I got that there. I am going to take some of the excess that ran here. And I'm going to dry it real fast. And when you're drying, try to keep the air flowing away from your paint trays. Or your paint brush so that you don't get it drying in the tray or on your brush. Now, what I'm going to do, I need some real concentrate here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the red. And I'm going to get my smaller brush, just wet it a little bit. I'm just going to take just a hint of it right out of the tube. And I don't want it real, real heavy. And I'm going to just touch that up. I need to coat the black and get it there fairly quick. I don't know where I picked up the black. But wherever it was, wasn't where I wanted it. So I'm gonna get some more paint that's really solid right out of the tube. And I'm just going over that black to try to hide it. I don't know if you can see it that well. I may have to do this a couple times. That black is coming through. So anyhow, we will take care of that problem. Uh, but that's that's a quick fix if you need to do something like that. You can just take a lit, very little paint to do a, like a, uh, a, a spot where you didn't get it or you got paint on it. And I just happened to pick it up and noticed that it got bounced into 
uh, the black somewhere along the line here. Hopefully it wasn't my hands. Now, I'm going to come back again with the raw umber. I'm gonna charge my brush up, dab it out. I've tried all this out. I'm gonna come back in here. I'm giving it one more coat right over the same area. Right through there in here a little bit and charge my brush up a little bit more come down this end right on to the ends here and also under here and I'll do the same thing on the other side a little bit, a little bit of paint this will be the second wash over this should do it Bring it up here. I'm sort of spreading out this a little bit more so that this area isn't touched. And uh, let me just, I'm gonna do a little bit of wet blending here with that so it goes into that pocket without really putting a lot of paint on it, okay? And then the last thing is, is the tail. I'm gonna give it another coat. Make sure you get the ends. And that's how I discovered my marking with the black that I didn't want there. But we can take care of that. You can you can cover it with a, a heavy dose of the red. And now with that, what I want to do next is, oops, let me do the ends here, like I told you. I'm going to put the bird down for a second here, and I'm going to come over here where I save some of the white. Let me rinse my brush out again, and I'm going to pick up a hint of white, and I'm going to put that in the tray here. Rinse the brush out again. Picked up some of the raw umber. I'm gonna get a little bit more than that. This is like a almost a tan color. I'm gonna do that. And what I'm gonna do is get the cardinal back. And we are gonna paint the underneath side. Let me let me just get a little more white in there. I'm going to put a little more white in there just to tan it up a little bit more. I hope you can see that compared to what it looked like before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on the bottom here, and I am really charged up, so I'm going to spread this out because I have plenty of paint here. And uh, I'm just trying to do the underneath side of the cardinal feathers. Just this. Look at that. Plug that in there like that. Like that. Hope you can see this well. A little bit more. And that gets like an off color. And we're going to let that sit. Okay, I'm gonna come up into here a little bit. Okay, that should cover what would be the top works. Now, if you wanna enhance a little bit, just to make the cheeks stick out a little bit more, what I'll do is I'll go back uh, to the raw sienna wash and do a little bit right along the cheek area here, just at the bottom, just sweep it around. And then I'm gonna do a little bit. And again, I always dab my brush out after I have a wash in there. And I'll sweep this around the bottom of the cheek coming around. So it, it throws a little shadowing in there. And uh, I think that'll complete it for this segment. Uh, we put two washes 
uh, all from here all the way down and around and up into the mantle just slightly then uh, we gave it a, a coat with all the edges covered as well on the tail twice and you want to make sure that you get into this underneath side of the tail with this wash okay and make sure you dabbed a couple of times so you're not running with it and you also do this part too right in here i should have mentioned that again and you get that and i think we did this side already so i'll do it again won't hurt and that's for the underneath side now for the underneath side of the tail i got the same raw umber added just a little bit of white doesn't take much and you get this tan color compared to that and that goes in and you wash that in once and that really uh gives it like a milky wash but it's real light okay and that's what we're looking for so uh, that should take care of it for this segment and i'll see you on the next one and we're getting closer and closer this is almost a wrap here pretty soon and I'll uh, cover you for, I think, almost a final one uh, when we go to wrap up the Cardinal as far as painting. Then I'll show you how to mount it, and then uh, we'll get it onto a base and show you how to do that, too. So, uh, and we also have the beak to uh, enhance. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean to do. Let me do that real quick. I want to get a little bit of this. Let me use the smaller brush. I'm sorry. I just remembered something. I'm going to get the smaller brush. Dab it out a little bit. And then I'm going to run that. Let's get that a little heavier. In the, in with the, the bottom of the beak here. And into that segment for the... A split in the beak there so it enhances that split more okay gets that little coloring in there so that should do it and i'll see you on the next video i hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it and if you did i'd ask you to give me a thumbs up and also if you can subscribe to my channel i'd appreciate that greatly too and we're coming down a home stretch of finishing the cardinal here, okay? So, see you on the next video. Bye.